Without a win in over six years at the home of Gloucester, Bath travelled to King's home with high hopes of victory from their lofty position of fourth in the Premiership ladder. Mike Ford had made five changes to the side that had beaten Breve in the Amling Cup, giving the Bath side a large physical presence, but it was Gloucester who started fastest. Billy Twelve Trees playing at fly half, punishing Bath for straying offside. A fractious opening saw George Ford level the scores on 12 minutes as neither side could find any sort of momentum in possession and the whistle of referee Wigglesworth seemed to be playing the biggest part of the game. Gloucester did their best to run the ball from every available position but the only reward came from the boot of 12 trees, the number 10 extending the lead to 6-3 on 24 minutes. Carl Ferns recalled to duty with the loss of Francois Lowe was sent to the bin on 27 minutes and 12 Trees claimed his third penalty as a result. Ford got three points back and the visitors went into the break 9-6 down, but also a man less as Matt Garvey was binned for a high tackle in front of the shed. After half-time it was Gloucester who lost a man, but this time permanently as Sila Puafisi was red-carded for his clothesline challenge on Nick Abenderden. The visitors took full advantage minutes later with captain Stuart Hooper the man to dot down after some powerful mauling by the Bath pack. Despite the man down, Gloucester continued to throw the ball about and a brilliant run by sub fullback Rob Cook caused Dave Atwood to be sent to the bin and 12 trees give the host the lead once again at 12-11. The Cherry and Whites extended that unlikely lead three minutes later, strong rucking providing the space for Henry Trinder to cross the whitewash and give the home side a 17-11 cushion. 12 trees missed the conversion, and with Mike Tyndall and Huey Edwards sent to the bin just moments apart, Bath took advantage with a penalty try on 78 minutes. Tavis Knoll was red-carded in the resulting melee as Gloucester finished the game with just 11 men on the pitch, and Bath fly half forward was able to slot the kick for a famous, if somewhat controversial, win. Final score at an extremely passionate King's home. Gloucester 17, Bath 18.